the Saints, um, you know, our guys battled, but, you know, you lose Matthew, you lose Ty and Secchi, it makes it challenging. I thought, you know, Bryce came in there and, you know, did some good things, and, you know, we were able to get the run game going. I thought the two-minute drill at the end of the half was a positive. You know, there were some good times where we got some stops defensively, but just not enough. You know, that first drive of the second half ends up hurting you, and um, overcoming some of those things, you know, just really the truth is it becomes a real challenge, you know, and it changes the way that you're able to really operate. Um, but there were some chances, uh, you know, for us to be able to do some things or get us back in that game. And, you know, even on the one touchdown they had to Alave, Aaron does a great job of winning quickly. And, you know, Dalton gets it out. And, you know, we're just not right in the position on the back end. But, you know, uh, take away credit from those guys. And, um, you know, that's where we're at right now. Sean, um, Matthew Stafford didn't come back in the game. Has he been diagnosed with a concussion? Uh, no, not yet. Not to my knowledge. Is he in the concussion protocol? I, I don't know the answer to that yet. With this happening a second time in three weeks, I mean, what's the prospect of you going I got to talk to the doctors. You know, obviously, well, we, we need to make a smart decision for Matthew um, and see see where we're at with that. So I think until I get with those guys afterwards, you know, I know how he was, I know how he was feeling. He communicated that, and then we made the decision that that was going to be in his best interest to not have him continue to play. So he wants to be out there continuing to battle with his guys, but... Um, you know, I'll, I'll talk to Reggie and his group and our doctors, and then you know we'll make a decision that's best for Matthew. Do you remember to the sideline? It seemed like after that sack when he came out, you left the sideline, went over to the bench. What did you say to him, and what did he say to you? I was just asking him, you know, what did he feel, and and you know we were just kind of having that dialogue, and he communicated that to me, and then you know we go through the checks and balances, and then that was when we made the determination it was best to be able to um, not have him come back in the game. If you have to go forward the rest of the season or the next few weeks without him. I think we'll, uh, you know, I think probably too soon for me to be able to answer that one uh, for you, Gary. But, uh, you know, there's a lot of things that, you know, we're working through that are, I would say, unprecedented. And, um, you know, what I do appreciate is the way the guys continue to battle, um, continue to try to compete. And, um, you know, and we're going to coach these guys up that we've got. But uh, as far as it relates to Matthew, we're going to be smart for him. He's such a warrior. He's such a stud competitor. I know how bad he wants to be out there. And I thought he played really well with the opportunities that